I would like to really quickly introduce Linda Cavanagh. Uh, she's one of uh, this year's co-conveners, and um, she's gonna she's gonna talk to you a bit about the last year. It's amazing to see you all here today. It's been an exceptional year for pro-choice activism. You're here making history, so take photographs, take selfies, look around you, you're going to want to remember this moment. <laughs> this march has been five months in the making. 33 years in the making and a hundred years in the making. Since the birth of this nation, we've been waiting for equality. In 1916, people dreamed of a better Ireland, one of self-determination and the right to choose their own destiny. One hundred years later, we're still fighting for that right. There can be no freedom without bodily autonomy. We cannot be free un until we de can determine our own destiny and we cannot do that without access to free choice through access to free, safe and legal abortion in Ireland. Yeah! We're tired of the delay tactics of successive governments who bury their head in the sand and ignore the urgent need and desire for change. We cannot wait for another woman to die, for another woman to be kept alive artificially, for another woman to be force fed and cut open against her will. Our government is living on borrowed time. Thousands of women need to access abortion every year. We simply cannot wait for another tragedy. We're tired of being told to be of being patient, tired of being told we need to be calm and have a measured debate while our contributions to this discussion are silenced and belittled. Enough blood has been spilled, enough women have died. No more shame, no more silence, no more stigma. <laughs> this The will for change that existed in 1916 remains today. The abortion rights campaign have seen our membership grow massively, as evidenced by new pro-choice groups springing up all over the country. Last year we had seven regional groups, now we have 17. to look at misleading billboards plastered all around the country telling lies about how abortion hurts women. Pro-choice activists have been literally wearing their demands on their chest, be it, be it badges, t-shirts or jumpers. This year people proudly displayed their support for Appeal the 8th in public without shame and without fear. In three weeks time, on the 15th of October, the Citizens' Assembly will meet for the first time and the first item on the agenda is the Eighth Amendment. The Assembly will be made up of a broad range of demographics, 99 people to represent the whole of the nation. But when I look out here today, I see that broad range of people. We're here today because we want repeal. We want real and realis realistic access to abortion. This is our Citizens' Assembly. The Citizens' Assembly will take a year. While we're forced to wait, thousands of women will travel. We've no guarantee at the end of this uh, process that there will be a referendum. But we can guarantee this, the Citizens' Assembly, this Citizens' Assembly, the one that's gathered here today, will not stop until the Eighth Amendment is history. We will not 
stop until we have access to healthcare in Ireland, until women are free to make their own choices about their own lives. We will not stop until we have free, safe and legal abortion in Ireland for anyone who wants one. Thank you.